What I'm about to show you represents the most aggressive snowfall signal both major forecast models have ever agreed on this season. The European model and GFS have finally converged on something that should grab everyone's attention. Back-to-back -back major winter storms. We're talking about legitimate blockbuster snowfall events targeting the eastern United States over the next two weeks. Multiple cities from Washington, D.C. to Boston could be looking at their snowiest period in years. The atmospheric pattern shift that's setting up could fundamentally change how we remember this winter. Let me break down exactly what these models are showing and why this setup has me genuinely excited. But first, I need you to understand something crucial about what you're experiencing right now. Today was absolutely gorgeous across the eastern states. Temperatures climbed into the 70s in many areas. People are outside enjoying what feels like early spring weather, but this warmth is about to become ancient history. The atmospheric pattern is preparing to flip dramatically with temperature drops of 30, 40, even 50 degrees. We're transitioning from summer-like conditions straight into Arctic territory, and that transition happens tomorrow. Currently, the southeast is dealing with active thunderstorm development as warm and cold air masses collide. This is classic atmospheric behavior when Arctic air tries to shove its way into warm, humid territory. These air masses refuse to coexist peacefully, and their battleground produces exactly the severe weather we're witnessing. By the way, if you'd like specific forecasts for your city or region, drop them in the comments below. I'll personally respond with detailed forecasts for as many locations as time allows. Also, if this breakdown helps you stay ahead of the weather, hitting subscribe would mean everything to our forecasting team. Now let's dive into why this pattern is so remarkable and what it means for major metropolitan areas. Out west, high pressure and warmth are building aggressively in what meteorologists call a positive PNA pattern. This configuration is the engine driving Arctic air into the eastern states while deflecting storms underneath. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll see a pronounced ridge dominating the west while a deep trough carves into the east. For those in the Ohio Valley and Great Lakes, Expect some light snow showers as the pattern begins shifting. Lake effect snow will develop off the Great Lakes, particularly affecting areas downwind like western New York. Tuesday the 13th brings our first significant system, a clipper diving down through the Great Lakes region. This system carries even more Arctic air and will bring moderate snowfall to Minnesota, Wisconsin, and southern Canada. Wednesday, the 14th, is when the building blocks for our first major snowstorm really come together. Arctic air will be diving southward behind the clipper system while rich Gulf moisture surges northward. When these two ingredients connect at the right time and place, you get exactly what both models are suggesting. Thursday, the 15th, shows low pressure developing near New Jersey with the jet stream turning vertical off the coast. This creates a Miller B nor'easter, a storm that forms halfway up the coast rather than tracking the full eastern seaboard. Snowfall begins across West Virginia, Virginia, Kentucky, and Pennsylvania as the low organizes. For Washington, D.C., this system could bring four to eight inches of snow, with the heaviest bands setting up west of the city. Baltimore and Philadelphia are in the prime impact zone for 6 to 12 inches, depending on the storm's exact track. New York City sits on the northern edge, where totals could range from 3 to 8 inches, with the higher amounts north of the city. As this system moves into Friday, it impacts New England, where Boston could see 8 to 15 inches of accumulation. The storm's path brings it close enough to deliver significant snow, while remaining offshore enough to intensify. Behind this system, even colder Arctic air floods in for Saturday the 17th with temperatures plummeting. The cold becomes so severe that snow showers are possible as far south as northern Texas and the Carolinas. This Arctic blast sets the stage for our second and potentially more significant winter storm. Sunday, January 18th brings low pressure development near the Florida Panhandle, classic nor'easter territory. Snow begins across the lower Appalachians as this system essentially rockets straight up the eastern seaboard. This puts Virginia northward through the entire Mid-Atlantic Corridor in prime position for major accumulation. For Richmond and Norfolk, this could be a significant snow event, with totals potentially reaching 8 to 16 inches. Washington, D.C. finds itself in the bullseye for this system, 
with potential for 12 to 20 inches of snowfall. Baltimore and Wilmington, Delaware could see similar totals as the storm tracks just offshore. Philadelphia and southern New Jersey are positioned for what could be their biggest snowstorm in several years. Current model guidance suggests 15 to 24 inches for the Philadelphia metro area if this track holds. New York City would see heavy snow as well, though totals depend on how far offshore the storm tracks. The current projection puts NYC in line for 8 to 16 inches with the possibility for more if the track shifts west. As this system pushes into New England, the European model shows it intensifying dramatically. Central pressure drops into the 980 millibar range, potentially creating legitimate blizzard conditions. Boston could be looking at 18 to 30 inches of snow with powerful winds creating dangerous travel conditions. Hartford, Providence, and Portland, Maine all fall within the heavy snow corridor for this powerhouse storm. The combination of heavy snow and strong winds could create whiteout conditions across much of New England. What makes this forecast particularly compelling is how both models have converged on this solution. When independent modeling systems agree on timing and placement with over a week of lead time, that signal carries real weight. The GFS model actually shows even more aggressive snowfall totals, extending further south into the Carolinas. Charlotte and Raleigh could see their first significant snowfall in years if the GFS solution verified. Atlanta might even see some snow on the southern edge of this system, though amounts would be light. The GFS has a documented tendency to position systems too far southeast initially, then trend northwest. We've seen that exact northwestern tick on recent runs, suggesting areas further north could be threatened. After this major storm, the pattern doesn't relax. It actually reinforces with another Arctic surge. Around January 20th, additional snowfall opportunities develop across the Midwest and Great Lakes. Chicago, Detroit, and Cleveland could see multiple snow events as clipper systems dive through the region. Lake effect snow machines will be running at full capacity with very cold air dominating the extended period. Buffalo and Syracuse could accumulate significant snow from persistent lake effect bands. The temperature outlook shows this isn't just a brief cold snap. We're looking at an extended frigid period. Temperatures will run 15 to 25 degrees below normal across much of the eastern United States. Cities like Chicago and Minneapolis could see highs struggling to reach zero degrees Fahrenheit. Even southern cities like Nashville and Louisville will experience sub-freezing temperatures for extended periods. This cold air will be crucial for any additional snow systems that develop during this active pattern. The western United States tells a completely different story with persistent high pressure and warmth. Cities like Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Las Vegas will see temperatures well above normal for late January. This western ridge deflects storm systems either over the top or underneath, creating our eastern trough. Moisture streams from the Gulf of Mexico get caught up in this eastern trough and wrap around classic storm patterns. This is essentially the perfect atmospheric configuration for major coastal storm development. The snowfall projections from both models should make winter weather enthusiasts extremely happy. The upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and entire eastern seaboard all show significant accumulation potential. We're looking at what could be the snowiest two-week period for many areas since the winter of 2015 to 2016. Some locations in the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast could accumulate two to four feet of snow during this active period. The consistency in model guidance gives me high confidence that significant snow events are coming. What's changed dramatically is the snowfall signal. Just days ago, neither model showed anything noteworthy. Now we're looking at multiple systems with genuine high-impact potential across major population centers. For those planning travel, the January 18th weekend could be particularly challenging across the Northeast Corridor. Major airports like BWI, PHL, LGA, JFK, and BOS could see significant delays and cancellations. Interstate 95 from Washington to Boston will likely experience extremely hazardous travel conditions. Local authorities should begin preparation for snow removal operations and potential emergency declarations. Schools across the impact zone should monitor this forecast closely as multiple snow days appear likely. The economic impact of this pattern could be substantial given the population density of affected areas. However, 
For winter sports enthusiasts, this represents an incredible opportunity for excellent conditions. Ski resorts across New England and the Mid-Atlantic will receive natural snowfall they've been craving. Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine ski areas could see some of their best conditions in years. The pattern evolution we're tracking has been remarkably consistent throughout multiple model runs. Arctic air availability has remained steady in forecasts for over a week, providing the foundation for these storms. What's evolved is the storm track and timing, which have aligned perfectly with the available cold air. The rapid trend towards snowier solutions tells me we're entering an active pattern that could deliver memorable events. For utility companies, this forecast suggests potential for power outages from heavy snow and ice accumulation. Tree limbs weakened by recent mild weather could be susceptible to breaking under heavy, wet snow loads. Residents should ensure they have emergency supplies, including flashlights, batteries, and backup heat sources. Food and water supplies should be checked as grocery store trips could become challenging during storm periods. Home heating systems should be inspected to ensure they're ready for the extended cold period ahead. Snow removal equipment should be serviced and ready as multiple storm cleanups will be necessary. Vehicle winterization becomes critical with emergency kits, proper tires, and full fuel tanks essential. The psychological impact of this pattern shift shouldn't be underestimated after such mild early winter weather. People may not be mentally prepared for the dramatic change from 70 degree days to blizzard conditions. Pet owners should prepare for limited outdoor time and ensure animals have warm shelter options. Elderly residents and those with health conditions should take extra precautions during this extreme pattern. The contrast between current conditions and what's coming represents one of the most dramatic weather reversals in recent memory. Historical analogs suggest this type of pattern can persist for weeks once established in late January. Climate patterns indicate this could be a taste of what's to come for the remainder of winter. La Nina influences are supporting this type of cold and snowy pattern across the eastern United States. The polar vortex appears to be destabilizing, allowing Arctic air to spill south more readily. Ocean temperatures along the east coast remain conducive to storm intensification offshore. The jet stream configuration favors continued storm development along the eastern seaboard through early February. Long-range ensemble guidance suggests this active pattern could extend well beyond our current forecast period. February could feature additional nor'easter threats if the pattern maintains its current configuration. Spring-like weather won't return to the northeast until at least early March, based on extended outlooks. The Great Lakes region faces an extended period of lake-effect snow as Arctic air repeatedly crosses warm waters. Seasonal snow totals could quickly jump to well above normal across much of the snow belt regions. Cities that have seen little snow this season could receive a winter's worth of accumulation in just two weeks. The rapid pace of this pattern change has caught many meteorologists and residents off guard. Emergency management officials are scrambling to prepare for conditions they haven't seen all season. Transportation departments are mobilizing equipment that has sat unused during the unusually mild early winter. School districts are reviewing snow day policies after months without significant winter weather concerns. The tourism industry faces both challenges and opportunities as winter activities become viable again. Agricultural interests are monitoring this pattern for potential impacts on dormant crops and livestock. Energy demand is expected to spike dramatically as heating systems work overtime during the Arctic blast. Natural gas and heating oil prices may see volatility as consumption jumps with the temperature drop. Environmental scientists are studying this dramatic pattern flip for insights into changing weather extremes. Social media algorithms will likely amplify snow photos and weather complaints as the pattern unfolds. Weather enthusiasts and storm chasers are already making plans to document these potentially historic events. Photography opportunities will be abundant as winter landscapes return to regions that have been snowless. Local news stations are preparing extended weather coverage as these storms become the dominant story. Social impacts could be significant as communities adapt to sudden winter conditions after mild weather. Mental health considerations include seasonal affective disorder triggers and isolation concerns during storms. Economic disruptions may ripple through supply chains as transportation networks face weather challenges.
Remote work policies may need adjustment as power outages and travel restrictions become factors. Educational institutions face decisions about remote learning during severe weather periods. Healthcare systems should prepare for weather-related injuries and increased demand during cold periods. Now let me address some specific regional impacts and what residents should expect in their areas. For those in the Washington, D.C. metro area, this represents a potentially historic snowfall pattern. The region could see its snowiest January since 2016, with multiple significant accumulating events. Federal government operations may face disruptions as the nation's capital deals with major winter weather. Baltimore and Annapolis should prepare for coastal flooding concerns if strong storms develop offshore winds. Philadelphia faces the possibility of its biggest snowfall in over five years with the January 18th system. The city's snow removal capabilities will be tested after several winters with minimal accumulation. New York City's complex meteorology could create dramatic snow gradients across the five boroughs. Central Park snow totals could vary significantly from Queens and Brooklyn, depending on storm tracks. Connecticut faces heavy snow potential with Hartford and New Haven in prime nor'easter impact zone. Massachusetts could see its most significant snowfall since the winter of 2014 to 2015 blizzards. Boston's snow removal budget may be strained after years of minimal winter weather expenditures. Maine and New Hampshire ski areas are celebrating as natural snow finally arrives in abundance. Vermont's maple syrup season could be affected by extended cold periods and heavy snow cover. The Ohio Valley faces clipper after clipper with accumulating snow becoming a regular occurrence. Great Lakes City should prepare for extensive lake effect snow as Arctic air repeatedly crosses warm waters. Chicago could see its coldest extended period in several years with multiple snow events possible. Detroit and Cleveland face challenging travel conditions as persistent snow and cold dominate. Buffalo and Syracuse are in prime position for heavy lake effect snow as winds align perfectly with lake orientation. Pittsburgh sits in an interesting zone where clipper snow and occasional heavier systems could combine. I want to hear from you about which specific cities or regions you'd like detailed forecasts for. Drop your location in the comments and let me know what aspects of this forecast concern you most. Are you excited about the snow potential, worried about travel impacts, or curious about your specific area? Share what the weather is like where you are right now so we can all appreciate this dramatic change together. If you're somewhere experiencing the current warmth, let me know what temperature it reached in your area today. Those of you already seeing cooler conditions, tell us how quickly the pattern is changing where you live. International viewers, we'd love to hear about any similar dramatic weather pattern changes in your regions. This forecast represents one of the most significant pattern flips we've tracked this season. The speed and magnitude of this change from mild to arctic is truly remarkable from a meteorological perspective. I'll be tracking these systems daily as details sharpen and will provide updates as the forecast evolves. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any updates on these developing storms. Like this video if the detailed breakdown helped you understand what's coming and share it with others who need to prepare. The next two weeks could deliver some of the most memorable winter weather millions of people have seen in years. Stay informed, stay prepared, and stay safe as we navigate this dramatic transition from mild to wild winter weather. We'll continue monitoring every model run and trend to bring you the most accurate forecast possible. This is exactly the type of weather pattern that reminds us why detailed forecasting and preparation matter. Thank you for trusting us with your weather information needs during this potentially historic pattern. I'll see you in tomorrow's update where we'll dive deeper into timing details and any model trends that develop. Until then, enjoy what might be the last mild day you see for quite a while.